Hi everyone, Misty here with Shabby Beautiful Scrap Looking. I'm here today with another little mini that I just completed using this week's featured digital, digital collage sheet. Every week I can't say digital collage sheet. <laughs> I can't say it again. Anyway, you know what I mean and you can purchase it on my blog. It will be $2.99 and it has four separate images. Here's what's left after I made this album. Really, really pretty colors and I made it specifically to go with um, Pink Paisley's new, I think it's Hope Chest collection. So I also have a kit that you can purchase to make one of these if you want. Um, it'll have five of the design papers. And they'll, they won't be exactly like this because they'll be cut from different parts of the, um, the sheet. But it'll be basically the same. Really pretty. It's got some blues and greens with some mobs. So then I also give you some of these um, colored cardstock sheets and they'll come with five chipboard pages to make your album. So that's that. So here's the album. I love this first little image. Just a little romantic romantic image and they just matted it and then the design paper. One of my roses from my cream collection little butterfly with this is the little um, flatback pearl that I have in my shop it's not very expensive and you get two yards of it anyway I just cut that off and use that for the body and then some seam binding for the antenna um, this is a prima hydrangea and then one of my metal clock hands just a little vintage ribbon that's the front page. Oops. And then this is just a little short library pocket and I just have some stamping and a sticker. I usually don't use a lot of stickers but I found these at the dollar store and I just thought they were really pretty so I went ahead and bought that. And this is also a page. Well first of all this little tag that comes out you can put more tags in there. But then I made it flip out into a page, so then you have even more space. This is just a little stamping, pretty lace. I, I don't know if I have any more of those stamps in my shop, or not shop or not. I'll have to check. It's more hydrangeas, and then this page, another little tag, just one of my little fancy mats. It's the smallest one, and the stamp. And this is from I think it's butterflies and something. I can't remember. I have one more of these in my shop. It's a full sheet of stamps. So that pulls out. And then this is a piece of the design paper. And this is um, one of my little chipboard fences. I just um, kind of whitewashed it and then I put um, inked on top of it. A little cream flower. So, And this will hold quite a few tags so you could really fill it up as much as you want it to. And then this is another one of the images. Like this is one of the smaller ones. Uh, one, two. There are four different sizes on the class sheet. And I just glued that on the two sides and then tucked these stamps in. I mean these tags in. And there's room. You could do some journaling here even. And just some stamping, a little chipboard, butterfly. Some ribbon for the antenna, another little flower, a little charm that's attached with one of my um, garment pins. Love these. And then some more of that vintage ribbon. I'm going to run out of this any time now and it's going to make me very sad. Um, another just stamped tag. Flower. This little flower here, I think it's, I don't remember how many you get, but they're only a dollar in my shop. They're little ribbon roses. Some ribbon. And then on this side, this is some trim that I have, also in my shop. And I took it, there's a part that you're supposed to, I guess, put between the fabric so it hides it. And it's supposed to be just a little edging trim. I just cut that off. Let's make sure you this a little closer. And then you just, I just shoved the tags and stuff in there. And then this is another sheet of the design paper. Here's that stamp again, I used just on the edges of the other page. Um, and then here's the, oh, maybe it's birds and butterfly. I think this is also on that same 
um, stamp as the birdcage. So you can put a picture on the back side or whatever. And then just a little mat to put a picture on. I might even would put a picture kind of catty cornered on there. Some more flowers. This is another trim that I have. Um, one side's lighter, one side's darker. So you can use it, you know, interchangeably. And I just put those on with little brads and then made a pocket out of that. And then this is just a little mini file folder with another one of the images. Sweet little bird image. So that opens up and you can put pictures or journaling. That adds quite a bit of space. And again, you could put more than just one thing in this pocket. And then this is another image. This is the second to smallest image um, in the set. Another piece of the design paper. And this is just a little wooden chip, not wooden, I'm sorry, a chipboard um, frame. And I just inked it up. And I'm going to try to get these in my shop. I don't think I have them in there yet. Some more tags. And then this is this week's free digital class sheet. So if you're on my um, free digi list, you'll be getting this um, today. There are eight on the sheet. It's really pretty. So you'll be getting that. If you want to get on my list and you're not on it yet, um, I'll put my blog link below and just hop onto my blog and follow the directions and I'll get you on the list. And about every week and a half or so, a new free one comes out. And I just send it straight to your email. So that's that. And one of my small Victorian mats. Another stamp. And then this is just a little border that I cut down and made it into a pocket. And this is one of my little tiny doilies. And a flower from the blue collection. And it just pops right back in there. And this is not in the set. This is just a separate one that you can get in my shop. But um, these chipboard frames are available. Just a little rose image. So that's that. Like I said, five pages. And we took it together pretty easily. Um, I really, really love this paper line. It is very pretty. So um, let me know if you have any questions. And I will put the links below. Again, here's the set the different papers. Um, I think that's it. Oh, I have to do the drawing for last week's collage sheet. Um, when you purchase the digital collage sheet on my blog, you get automatically entered into a drawing, and every week it's a different prize. Um, what this drawing for right now for last week's collage sheet is for three um, bundles of my seam binding, and it, um, it'll be three different colors that coordinate with last week's digital class sheet and there's five yards in each. So that's what this drawing is for. Let's see. And this week's winner is Michael Sentner. And I'm sure that's her husband's name. <laughs> but I will get this in the mail. I already have the address. Thank you so much. And thanks for everyone that purchased. And um, I think the prize for next week's drawing will be um, this chipboard set. So it'll have five pieces of chipboard, five cardstock sheets, and five of the design paper. And that'll be the drawing for next week. And okay, that's really it. Thanks guys. Bye.